The White House now apologizing for posting an unedited version of this photo of U.S. Special Forces in Israel. Now, we've blurred out any identifiable details, but the White House did not. They say, quote, as soon as this was brought to our attention, we immediately deleted the photo. We regret the error and any issues it may have caused. Fox News contributor and columnist for The Messenger, Joe Concha, joins us now. Joe, an error like this cannot happen. Why did it? And we regret the error doesn't cut it here, Todd, right? Why did it happen? It was a pathetic attempt to try to prop up the commander in chief and Joe Biden to show that he's hands on in handling uh, these wars, multiple wars now that are going on around the world. And you, you look at the president's schedule today. Let's see how hands on he is. He doesn't get the daily briefing, Todd, until 930 a.m. It is a Friday and there isn't a war going on or anything. So, you know, let, let him sleep in for a little bit. He then attends a, a U.S. EU summit at noon. The president then participates in a campaign reception at 6 p.m. And then he flies to his beach house in Delaware for the weekend. So you look at the optic and that's one thing. And then you look at uh, the way this president conducts himself on a daily basis uh, during uh, obviously a very tense time in the Middle East. And that says quite another, Carly. Joe, he did have a 15 minute speech at eight o'clock last night. So uh, he does have a bit of a yep, late great night, point. Late, late Thursday night. Yes. Um, squad Democrat <laughs> Rashida Tlaib dodging questions about a post blaming Israel for the hospital blast in Gaza. Remember this post where she unequivocally said this was all Israel's fault despite the fact that, you know, it wasn't Israel's fault and all the intelligence proved that? One reporter writing on social media, quote, Tlaib would not respond just now when I asked if she had considered taking this post down after Biden said he believes Israel didn't bomb this hospital. Another reporter saying, quote, Tlaib refused to say anything as she rushed from the House floor to a car waiting to pick her up outside the Capitol building. Your reaction, Joe, to this refusal to take responsibility for her inflammatory words, which are on the screen right now, where not only does she accuse Israel of bombing this hospital, but she accused the president of the United States in her party to refuse to facilitate a ceasefire and help de-escalate. Todd, Carly, it's amazing. This tweet has been viewed millions upon millions of times, and she still refuses to take it down, delete the tweet, because obviously the information is completely false. And if this was a tweet by somebody from Hamas or somebody sympathetic uh, from Al Jazeera in the Middle East, uh, that's one thing. This is a sitting U.S. Congresswoman that is purposely throwing out misinformation, lies, let's call it what it is, and it could get people killed. There are still American hostages being held. She just doesn't seem to care. And when she pushes this lie that Israel launched a strike on that hospital in Gaza and that hundreds were killed when we're seeing evidence where, A, the hospital is still standing, B, that missile did not come from Israel, it came from inside Gaza, Islamic Jihad misfired and hit a parking lot next to it. And the fact that we still see media outlets reporting that hundreds are killed when clearly hundreds were not killed and the fact that it's still called an attack when yeah. it's not an attack when it comes from inside Gaza, it was a misfire uh, between Rashida Tlaib and some media outlets. This is the type of stuff that is life and death stuff, and, and she should take this tweet down. She will not, because this is somebody who simply doesn't seem to care about the American people at this point, particularly those that are being held hostage. This is to push a political agenda, as she always has since she has been in office, guys. Joe, before we let you go, how should Democrats and the White House handle this going forward? Because right now, all the attention is on, oh, look, the Republicans, they can't handle their own. This is a real problem for yeah. Democrats. This is a huge problem for Democrats. What should they do about it? Well, we saw Hakeem Jeffries, Todd, and Nancy Pelosi both be asked, do you condemn what Rashida Tlaib and Elon Omar are tweeting as far as blaming Israel for that strike on that hospital? And both said, oh, we haven't seen the tweet. They played dumb. Like, uh, we, we, we don't know what you're talking about. Right. So they're not going to get any condemnation from inside the party. As long as that doesn't happen, then they'll continue to tweet and say the things they are at this point. That is a standard Nancy Pelosi move. I don't know what you're talking about. Meantime, when it's the other side, yeah. she has full documentation all the time in her purse. Joe Concha, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.